what you need. Skin. Can't believe how much he gets to me, Val. Honest to God. I'm so pissed right now. What? I'm supposed to be happy going to work knowing he's going to be on my case the whole shit? Son of a bitch. The world is screwed up, Val. It's screwed up. Shit, home looks so good. I didn't have nobody telling me what to do, nobody threatening me like that son of a bitch. You better have put that box down. Hear me, Val. Just just hear me. I'm in the mood today for this shit, girl. Two seconds, okay? So after work on Friday night, it was raining real hard, right? So Billy offers me a ride home. And then he takes me downtown and he's driving me around Kennedy Plaza, around and around, laying this shit on me. That I got the weekend to think about going to bed with him or I'm fired. It was all about my mic being hurt that his workman's comp is up next week. He knows how bad I need the Blue Cross with my Joey being a diabetic. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I gotta talk to somebody. I can't talk to Mike about it. So <laughs> you flirt with danger now. You might have to get down on your knees to keep food and medicine in the house. You get a hold of yourself, girl. Get it real, girl. And don't pull this shit with me again. Next time you see Billy, you flash your teeth at him. And you start thinking what them teeth would do if they hold the right thing. I can't do that shit. I'm not Tina Turner. I can't do that. I mean, you can do it. I can't do it. <laughs> well, you gotta do something. You gonna make me hit you now. I did do something, which is why I came early today. I talked to Jim McDonald about it. Can you kiss your job goodbye? I told him everything. You a fool. You told me I got nothing. Of course you got nothing. Oh, I wish I could just go back eight weeks. You know, I would have done things differently, but I just didn't see it. Got left in your face. <sighs> he was writing some stuff down. He asked me how to spell vagina. Vagina? He thought it had a J in it. How'd you get into vagina? Came up. You talk vagina with Mr. Jim McDonald. <laughs> But yeah, I told him about that time that Billy pinned me and rubbed me there and he was asking me questions like, did you get anything on tape? You take any pictures? You got marks on your body? So then I tells him about Billy sending me to the new arts work and then him coming there when I was alone and get me in the bathroom stall locking me in right so then jim says aha there's no locks on those doors and i said i knew that but what i meant was billy had locked me in because i couldn't get past him i mean that's still being locked in ain't it so fat jim is just sitting there looking at his fat fingers and then then he looks up and he just says billy's been with us at lady of fedema for six years and you've been with us for three months Honest to God, Val, I, I stood up and I yelled 
why would I make this up? I says, the guy's a pig. I says, I like this job. Why do I have to put up with this? You better start looking for a new place to work. Why should I? So but before I left, I asked him if I got some other girls from the 2 to 11 shift to speak up for me. Because, you know, everybody kind of knows about Bailey and how he's been on me. And maybe if I get enough proof, we could, I could do something about it. Hard to believe all this is happening in a Catholic hospital, ain't it? Those kinds of things just matter anymore, I guess. And I like that movie. It's one of my favorite movies. You like that movie? What movie? What what you talking about, girl? The Miracle of Fadima movie. You know, with the girl, she's the virgin mother, and they talk every day. And then the virgin mother gives her a uh, rose and a letter for the Pope to read. And then he reads <clears throat> He reads it, but the news about the future of the world is bad, so he doesn't tell anybody about it. That movie. You read that. And that Inquire magazine. No. No, no, it really happened in France, I think. Listen, girl. I seen Billy slipping you them brown bags every now and again. And I also know that when I check the schedule, you ain't never signed to the A Awards. So let me go on and expose you right now. I ain't been no witness for Mr. Jim McDonald, all right? I, I need this job. There's a lot of chicks waiting to get our job. It's like causing no waves. It's an asshole or something. I got kids, I got problems. <sighs> Shit. At least when you lean and tell Holy, I know me, you can rub your legs against. Why we ever get along? Right now, I take an old man I don't even get along with. We sit and watch a lot of TV. And this past weekend, I just want to walk. I mean, no matter what I'm doing or saying or watching, all I see and hear is Billy. I can't eat. I stare up at the ceiling at night. And of course, Mike thinks it's about him. He thinks because his wife has to go out and work, but that makes him less of a man. So he stares at the ceiling too. It's nobody's gonna come busting up in your house when they smell a man stare. What all these stupid thoughts going on in my head? Like Billy dying in a car accident on Pontiac Avenue? I wanna fight thinking that way. Where I come from, a friend is a friend. Um, you remember that time I went to Linwood with the whooping cough medicine for your kids? Remember? Come on, look, Val, I know you remember, okay? I was there for you, all right? But now, I didn't ask you to come. We clean bathrooms in a motherfucking hospital. We told to wipe up the dying's blood and scrub the sickness and disease off the floors and walls for three ninety five an hour. I ain't about to clean it in nobody's mind. When I walk through the A wards. I close my eyes and ears to the people I hear screaming for God. And I scrub them toilets. Because I married Donald Hill when I was 16. And he gave me four kids before he started hitting on my babies and I had to cut his black ass loose. Oh, this is different. Oh, listen, if you just go to them and tell them the truth, then you yeah. know. Nobody heard my motherfucking tears. Nobody cared if Val Southern lived or died. Nobody sees how hard I get myself worked up. We 
clean bathrooms. Like, I'm told to wipe the towel when I breath. And I learned how to clean a mirror without looking at myself or anything behind me. Probably was friends. Yeah, because that's the way you are. You don't seem to know what's hitting and what's not hitting. And, and you think because we we share a sandwich and laugh over Fifi's beach ball tits while we count toilet tissue rolls that we like sisters or something. We ought to catch a movie and have a Shirley Temple at the friendly local bar. All around us would accept and ignore. Dinah asking you for a favor? No, it I, don't matter. I mean, so it don't matter. You can help nobody <laughs> and see people coming and going and um, hand going. Yeah. Yeah. It rots. Mm -hmm. Come on, Val. Come on. I know you seen Billy hitting on me that one time. I know for sure by the potato chip machine. Remember? What you talking about? I'm talking like a month ago. Over by one of the machines, and then Billy came up. You ain't got no tape recorder tape to your ass, dude. No. Don't even think about setting me up for Mr. Jim McDonald. I want to do that to you. Hustling with girls we know to scrap for a few things. We was on break. And Dinah was there and everybody was laughing. She was just telling that story about the guy who kissed her and then his false tooth fell in her mouth. Remember that story? I don't remember a thing that girl has to say. Oh, come on, come on. And Fifi was there and she was laughing so hard she passed out on poor Mrs. Ellenwood. And I was over by one of the machines. And then Billy comes up behind me, starts rubbing up against me. And I didn't know what to do when I turned all red and I couldn't move and I felt like I was 10 years old again. And I remember looking over to you. And you looked away. You got that right. I looked away. You goddamn help, Val, you gotta help me. No, no, I don't gotta help you. I can't do it. I ain't gonna make things worse in my life. On account of some dude who can't keep his hands from your tits and his, his eyes from your tits and his hands from his fucking stick. I can't do it. I'm 30 years old. I got some lonely nights where I'd risk I'd miss anything to have a man hold me just for one night to feel so loving. <laughs> but is this fucking disease going on? And it's got me ragged. And I keep trying to explain it to my grandmother, but I don't know what to tell her. And all the time in my head, I'm screaming like, people are fucking and dying. People are fucking and dying. People are fucking and dying. What the fuck is going on? Anybody want to throw an answer over this way? Hey. They'll listen to you because we're all around here. Yeah, because you know that. found out my daddy, Bill Cosby. <sighs> what you been passing back and forth? Hmm? What's in the little brown bag that he gives you? Okay. He knows 
that my Joey is diabetic. So he started bringing me insulin and needles. And I at first started taking it thinking, you know, that it was all right, but obviously <laughs> I thought he was being nice. So when I first started and you have me working and, and that was a new thing. And he seemed to just be there all the time. And we just talk. You know, he'd tell me about his life and I thought it was okay to listen. I mean, <laughs> you know, I've been at home with kids for 10 years watching Mr. Rogers, so what do I know? I'm over here thinking, hey, I'm getting paid and he's the boss and sometimes I get to feel real dirty and I ain't even done nothing. That is so. So what you're saying to me is, what? What, go ahead and have sex with Billy even though you don't want to or? And or or quit the job your whole family is dependent on right now. You're done. You're making up your mind. Oh, oh, let me finish. <laughs> I'm staying on the outside of it all. No one you could help. Don't go calling out my conscience. So this is nothing to you? I'll get by. Whatever I decide. Whatever. If I decide to give in to him, what would you think of me? I respect survival. Please, please, I don't even undress in front of Mike for Christ's sake. Shit, please, please just come with me up to Jim McDonald's office, okay? And if we go up there, we throw around here, no money, no benefits, we can't collect unemployment. What do people get together? On TV movies of the week. I come to work. I get ready and, and walk down the corridor. I liked everything better the way it was when everything was the way I thought it was. What are we pulling? Jesus. This man is chasing you. Got you ragged, making it hard for you and your babies. What do you tell your kids? Well, how should they act when they grow up? You ain't even put up any fight. So of course he feel nothing but fear from you. I already tell my kids to be nice to people because people are nice. He's got you cornered and he think he can eat you for dinner. I, I, I tell my kids, don't pick up that rock. I say, throw down that stick. I say, loyal to people. I say, be kind to old people. I say, feel God inside of you. Think of him. Think of him making it in front of you, in front of your old man with him. Think of him keeping medicine from your babies. Think of him holding your babies by the hair from the fourth floor window. Let's go, Val. Get to work. Be able to get up to D17. People waiting by the elevator. Seems to go ahead and be 11. Sneak to D-17's bed and they die together. Ain't that cute? Dina and Mrs. Ellenwood. Don't be so cold, Billy. Hey! I'll get to you in a second. So hold it, sweetheart. Dina and Mrs. Ellenwood is gonna help upstairs. 
because I want everything to keep moving. So no stopping for no soap opera. Okay.